But yeah, those of you coming in, this match history was not hot. It was not hot. Look how far I've fallen. All the way to number 30, Jesus Christ. Last night, I was rank 2 on the leaderboard. Look at this. 8685877. Seven, seven. Have you ever seen a match history that ugly? From 300 LP to 0. Do I have a Cassidy in real angle? Nope. Do I have a Kog'Maw real angle? Nope. Do I have a Cinder real angle? Nope. Guess I'm playing Karma. Fail to Karma. Eighth. Every single game was the exact same thing. It was actually unplayable. How many comps can you build around Karma? There's like an infinite amount of comps that you can build around Karma. There's one where you use the side piece to Syndra, and it's like the Syndra build. There's one where, I mean, you just play Karma and Zillion and then Preservers, and then you can like play anything from that spot. Shapeshifters as a front line. Fiora Gwen, like, Karma does too much. She just does so much damage, and she heals, and like, front line, like, the fact that she AoE heals your front line is just crazy. No, like, Carrie should do that. She should do more damage and no healing or something. Just way too good of a unit. And then she also, like, is the perfect morale as a player. She's, like, the perfect support DPS, AP, support, assassin, sniper, she, she everything. Time out. Gotta sharpen my lamp. They'd have to, like, have her numbers for people to, like, uh, stop playing her. Because she's just so useful. Like, Gwen, Gwen and Fiora both cannot exist without her. But maybe if I just think really hard, I can find something. For once, I, I would just love a casted in reroll game, man. A casted in reroll game. Alright, I got Portal again, so I think it's gonna be the same thing as before. Is seven frost an angle? Nope. There's like seven frost bears, which is I've heard is kind of good, but it's like you're never gonna commit to that. It's like too unsafe unless you like start off with a frost bet, even then it sounds pretty bad. The routing just doesn't really make much sense there. Wait, really good Cassidy. I really don't like March of Progress here. Oh. It might be okay. I've got Gwinsu's BT. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I was trying to play Cassidy, but I randomly hit a Rumble and Syndra. Oh boy. Uh, I have a slightly bad feeling about this. Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. I actually I actually have not played this in a long time because I haven't had an angle for it in a long time. I lend my aid. But like it's definitely like so good that I, I just gotta start playing it. What if it's quadruple contest and you only hit two star Syndra? Then I'll just outplace my contesters. Like, you can't say no to this setup. Uh, I think I don't buy this Wukong. I'm gonna be poor forever if I buy him. Hmm, why so tense? Yeah, let's just like, Relax. why aren't you playing ranked? Wait, what? You, you, you think this is not a ranked game? <laughs> oh, okay, subscription service.
Oh, maybe I get a Syndra with Bow or Tear. What does subscription service do? It gives you the all fours charm once per stage. Well, it's slightly worse because it takes your shop, but like, yeah, you just get to see four random four costs. Oh, you also only get to see four, not five, but I actually don't think it's very good. You get access to like early four costs, but you're down a prismatic combat augment or econ augment. Um, oh, this Here is actually I pretty am. good. This is my domain. That was hella random. Our future will be bright. But yeah, like, I've gotten like quote unquote crazy combos like a Callisto with Gwinsu's on 2 1, and it just like kind of loses to 2 stars with Prismatic Combat Augments. Like the training dummy just like kicks your ass. Normally, you have your rank displayed in the top left, so I thought you were in a normal game. You can literally look back through like five years of me streaming TFT and I've never once used the tracker. People ask me about it a lot and I always have the same philosophy. Like, if I'm having a good day, I'll be talking about it. And if I'm having a bad day, I wouldn't want you to see it. Uh, it's probably good if I like get a close loss here. What does the tracker do? It just shows your recent placements in your current rank. Again, I don't use it because if I'm having a bad day, I wouldn't want you to see my placements, and if I'm having a good day, I'll be talking about it. So I find it redundant. Oh fuck, I'm gonna win. Oh wait, wait, maybe I lose by one. Lose by one? Ah. Okay, it's not too bad. Wait, am I uncontested? Oh my god! Oh no, I'm not, I'm not. This guy is definitely gonna play it. He just hasn't hit a single Cinder yet. I, I'm contested by one, which is fine. I think I'm gonna roll on six here and try to hit a... Just get a two-star Cinder and sit. Hello, Mako the Nerd. Welcome. Roll until I okay. I am in control. Victory awaits. Uh I kinda wanna save this for Nashers, but I think slamming a Warmog's gargoyle is really high value right now. Or maybe I slam uh redemption. Yeah, I'm gonna do rede uh, redemption because it saves the bow for, or belt for potential nashers. It's a bit weird to put redemption and gargoyle together. Uh, I, 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 I'm actually very passionate about this a lot. Uh, I generally believe that like you should have like a selfish tank and a unselfish tank. Unselfish or selfish tank is like Warmogs, Bramble, Declaw, Gargoyle, stuff that makes you live long. Wait, spin to win? No, no, it's gotta be too healthy. It's gotta be too healthy. Oh my God. Don't be tempted, Albert. It's actually not worth it. Don't be tempted. Uh, I will roll for charm though. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Right, uh, so selfish tank items, Warmogs, Gargoyle, Declaw, Bramble, stuff like that, makes you live longer. Unselfish tank items is like Redemption, Sunfire, uh, Spark, Even Shroud, uh, items that are kind of tanky but also help your team out. Oh fuck, this guy kind of hit. So it's weird to put a selfish and an unselfish item together. Cause my I want my Galio to like full tank, but then also he's gonna like lose the redemption.
It's kind of cool how we fit in a Nyla too, for a little bit. I definitely think there's value in rolling for uh rolling twice for charm here. Such power. Here I am. What? But yeah, like normally it's like, well, box box, what are you doing? Stay above 50. But uh, I think in general, charms are really overpowered. So it's almost like if you if there are things that you desire in the shop, like I desire a Mordekaiser right now. Uh, it's way better than this Elise. I desire Vex. Uh, and I desire Sintras. I think it's like very worth it, even if it means losing a little bit of econ to just like uh, roll. Maybe you, it's like for four gold, you get to see a bunch of shops, maybe hit an upgrade, maybe make progress towards hitting your three stars. And um, also you get to see a charm that can give you even more progress or just like win you the fight or just give you money. Okay, I'm just gonna slam my war monks. I know I really want the Nashers on Syndra, but it wasn't available here. Such power. Who wants a Hmm, why so tense? Relax. I'm just gonna this. Yeah, I feel like this is what always happens to me with subscription service. You like have all these crazy forecasts, but you're very unlikely to two star them. And then you ha he has a pair of Gwen, and a pair of Karma, but like he can't actually roll for them for a long time. So he has to just play a really weak board for a really long time. I, whenever I take subscription service, I feel like this is what happens to me. Um, don't need Kench for now. Can the Nash's effect stack on itself? Uh, no, it can't. Here I am. I beat magic. Uh, I feel like I need to roll a little bit deeper because I'm about to go seven. Nothing escapes my coil. Okay. Might comes out. I'll, I'll have to slow roll the rest later. I don't think I should dip below. Wow. I hit zero Mordekaiser. <laughs> I'm not worth holding for Nyla. Through. No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not actually playing Nyla. I, Nyla is like not waiting for Nami, and then uh, Elise is waiting for Mordekaiser. I, I'm on a streak, so I want to roll and hit. But I don't want to like dip below 30. Otherwise, my econ's like really fucked. I'm like kind of in a hurry because I know I'm contested. And also, I'm about to automatically level up. Alright, how's my contester doing? Uh, he's on five Syndras as well. Okay, well. I'm definitely gonna roll like for two Galios. Galio three, Cinder three is probably good enough. Am I getting under your skin? So. Here I am. This place is so getting here. Okay, I feel like I gotta go in. I feel like I gotta go go in. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to zero, and I'm just gonna race into it. It's gonna get too hard to hit. Uh, level seven and a lot out of the pool.
crap. I need, uh, fuck. I need one karma eventually, but nah. Just skip for now. Magic goes in, might comes out. Oh wait, I was supposed to sell Cassio actually. Who you calling little? I hate. We don't have to fight. Let's do though. Fuck, I was supposed to sell Cassio, that's what I was supposed to do. Ah, my bad. I I kept the Cassio because it goddamn too healthy, but it's not actually like a, a karma one is just like so good. Okay, next time I see a karma, I need to just grab it and play it over Cassio. Okay, I uh, I'm probably just gonna roll every round because there are a lot of charms that just help you so much. Either you streak with charm or you get a charm that helps you get Syndra. Oh shit. Connor, thank you so much for the raid. I'm having a miserable time tonight. I hope you had a better climb than I did. Let's take a look. How are you doing? Long time no see. I'm really glad you've been enjoying TFT. Alright, let's see how he's doing. He was like kind of popping off. Oh, let's fucking go. Emerald 4? Nice job, dude. Oh no. It's a lot of Karma, Syndra, and Kogma reroll. I was uh, I was having a meltdown on today's stream because every single game is Karma, Syndra, Kogma, or Kassadin. I mean, not from Connor specifically, just in general. That's just, that's just that's just the current patch. I'm having a meltdown, man. Every single game, you just like see if you can hit play one of the reroll builds, like how I hit Syndra angle here. And then, if you don't, you just play Karma. Every single game. It's the only viable playstyle. I hate it. It makes it, it's, it's like triggering me so much. So I'm having a meltdown, but I'm glad your climb is going well. Thank you so much for the raid. I'll treat you for you as well. Well, I hope. Okay. Uh, I officially, formally invite everybody to my pizza party. Uh, the pizza party... Free pizza for everybody, but only when Sindra 3 shows up. Yeah, it's only when Sindra shows up. Let's grab this belt for either a Morellos, Nashers, or Sunfire. Uh, I'm gonna roll until Charm. Copy of one cost, each one cost champion. No, I'm not gonna take it. Okay, I'm gonna give up on Ward. It's, it's definitely not realistic. Okay, so this is like a really weird spot. Because I don't normally play March of Progress. But like it was my only playable choice here. And it's going to like automatically level me up. Which is kind of nice. But on the other hand, like I really need this Syndra. So I've been desperately rolling. I'm, I've been trying to get the the thing that gives me like a, du a lesser duplicator. Or a shop with all twos. I have one contester. Which is actually kind of low. He has seven Syndras as well. And we're literally just like both doing the same thing. He's literally also March of Progress. He's my brother. But, like, I hate him. I mean, off of HP alone, I'm probably already top four, but I really, 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 really need just two Syndras. There are 25 Syndras in the game, and we both have seven, so, like, there's a world where we both hit. Yeah, I've been rolling ridiculously aggressively to try to outpace him, but I failed. Okay, I'm just gonna give up on three starring for now. Oh, wait. Oh fuck! It's we're gonna go up to level eight odds. Ah, uh, it's no, dude. Fuck! He's actually gonna beat me. It's gonna automatically level me up to eight next. No, my brother's gonna beat me. Yeah, it's gonna auto level me to 8, and then my odds of hitting get even lower, but I'm out of money. Just kill him. Uh, he, he's he's getting first place. He, he's also about to hit Mordekaiser 3, and that's like the actual first place. Mordekaiser 3 is like god tier. The average placement of Mordekaiser 3 plus Syndra 3 on one board is 1.9. It's like that strong. I mean, I, I'm still good for like a fourth, but I can maybe get like second if uh, I end up hitting. Okay, I really need uh, one Nami. But yeah, I'm just gonna like buy a charm every single round and 
try to pace myself. Uh, I really need a third item on the Syndra. At this point, I'll even like, accept like a Nashers. Hands off my field. Oh, Karma, nice. Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one way we're making out of this alive. If you want this pizza party filled with ham and pineapple pizza, and that's literally it. No pepperoni. I hate that. You better hope she comes home. I need the uh, minor mimicry or something. No. Every mistake is a lesson. Are you gonna swap sides? No? Okay. Come on! Two Syndras! Three Rumbles! Three Vexes! It's winnable! Crazy if Cinder 2 wins this, by the way. <laughs> she did reach 120 stacks, and she does have this. I do have a lot of AP from Item Collector. And I do have a Bramble from the, the Charm. Man, I actually won. I'm gonna- somebody help me, I'm gonna come. I- uh, on level 8. Such power. On level- People fear what they cannot understand. 8. Oh fuck, he hit Mordekaiser 3. Ah. Uh, wow, we both earthquaked each other. Wait, I don't think I can beat Mordekaiser 3. It's literally like, you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Mord 3 versus Mord 2. We are literally just mirror matchups. The, we have the exact same 8 units. Wait, but why does it look like I'm winning? Hello? Oh no, it was so close. It was so close. We had the same charm, same build, and I almost won. Okay, I, I need this red buff. The red buff on Karma. Shiv is also kind of good because Syndra only shreds 20%. A Shiv would shred 30, but I need anti-heal. All right. I'm not going to hit these three stars most likely. I'm just going to keep rolling for charm and that's it. No, roll for a combat charm. Combat charm. Karma or Nami? I feel like it's Nami. Yeah, Nami gets... Well, if you aim it... Yeah, if you aim it, she gets everybody. Hello, Eustace. Yeah, Nami spreads her stuff better. Alright, watch this. I'm sorry, Zoe reroll. It's a funny build, but you are nothing compared to an infinitely stacking Syndra. Is 
It's not even close. You know, I almost won against that guy with more than three and Cinder three. He's just me, but cooler. But my augments are actually a little bit better. If I randomly hit Rumble three, it might make the diff. Oh, you know what? I should hold on to an Ari for Arcana. And maybe Zereth. Oh, I got a Wolf for Charm. No. Combat Charm, please. Salvager. Uh. Nah. There's beauty in even the small. You, you could, like, move some things around, but I generally feel like these items are really good. All right. Cue the music. I think we're good for at least a second place this game. The question is, what can I do to get first? The answer lies with me. So I've got anti heal. I think it's give items to Nami if I can aim it correctly. How many casts are you at? Uh, 157. Oh, he's only at 105. Maybe that's why I was winning. He's behind on casts. Is Gwinsu's or Shojin more likely? I think Shojin's more reasonable. Alright. This guy has like six chrono. That is terrifying. But I have two three star units. I know, only two. That, car that Camille 2 with 6 Chrono is terrifying. That Camille 2 with 6 Chrono is dead. No, it's so close. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> really? I won. Unreal. Alright. I'm rolling a 0 for my 3 stars. Every mistake is a lesson. Leadership? No. I need a charm that beats him here. No. No, I didn't dodge it. Alright, one of my units is getting back row star. Oh wait, we both dodge each other's Namis. This will be really interesting. The only advantage I have is that my augments are a little bit better, but he's got Mordekaiser fucking three. Wait, it's just so close. It's so close. <gasps> nah, we don't care about Karma too. It's all about this Vex three. Every mistake is a lesson. It's not much, but it's something. Alright. I think a Vex 3 will bring it home. He's very close to Galio 3. You've gotten very far for someone playing Callista Carry 1. Oh wait, Ari's actually really good because it's too healthy. Maybe I'll keep her. Yeah, I think she might actually be better than Xerath. Alright. Vex on Carousel? Wait, there's a Vex on Carousel. 
I, I was looking at the chrono spat. Holy shit. This place is so Let's turn these smiles upside down. Okay, I need to rebuild this mord. All right. I have an idea. He probably moved his Syndra over here on the, le the last second. Putting my Syndra in the middle to try to not get hit by the Nami wave. Good old Syndra v Syndra mirror matchup. I'm curious if X3 is enough to take it home. Also, my Syndra has 30 more stacks than his. Do not let this man cook. Do not let him hit Galio. We have to end it here. Who wants a piece of this? Oh, fuck. He hit Galio and I didn't have a combat charm. Well, I had a Bramble Vest for the AP matchup. Fuck. You win this round. I need to hit a replacement Mordekaiser. What charm you get? He got a decaw! He got a decaw! Fuck! Okay, you win this round. Wait, or does he? Hang on. Look at my Syndra! My Syndra's on his Syndra! I won again! My Syndra is so smart! All right, let's get a... I really want to rebuild this Mord and move everything to Vex. Easiest way is just get a remover. He's got Mord 3, so finding another Mord is going to be really hard. How many casts now? 198. Remover, remover, please. Oh yeah, there's an interesting play I can do here. Act with conviction. Welcome to oblivion. Ever looked up to a Yordle? Oh seven, Karma. Oh seven. What is my purpose? You die for the country! Feed everybody items! Items for everyone! That, that charm is so high value. Nice job. What a game. Who would have guessed that it was Syndra 3 versus Syndra 3 at the end? Well, I'm actually very surprised I won, because he had Mordekaiser 3. We out-augmented him, even though our board was weaker. That was my first Cinder game in God knows how many games, like 20? I really, really, let me, let me say it really clearly, I hate playing Syndra. I hate playing Syndra. I did it because I had the best angle possible for it. You'd be trolling to not play it.